Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ahmed from Yassim DIY and welcome back to another video. On today's video, we are gonna be going through the car and doing just a bunch of much needed maintenance on it. I mean, we're doing the both differentials, front and back. We're doing the transmission and the trans case, um, draining the fluids and putting in new fluid. We're also gonna be doing an oil change and a filter. We're gonna be switching out the radiator, um, hoses, clamps, spark plugs, plug wires, the list goes on and on. Um, but basically, we're gonna be taking our time with it and just kind of seeing how everything is on the underside of the car and um, with the goal of hopefully starting the car tonight and taking it out for a test drive. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. But right before that, I do wanna introduce somebody to the channel. This is my friend, Jason. He's gonna okay. be helping me out today. So you're gonna be seeing him in all the videos and he's gonna be helping me with the recording. But um, we're, gonna, we're gonna get started with the rear differential and I'll see you in the next slide. So what you're looking at is the rear differential on the 1989 Forerunner. Uh, this is pretty standard for this year and model of the pickups and the Forerunners, Tacomas, pretty much all the Toyotas. Um, this is right here, the fill bolt, and we're gonna be opening that first. And then this down here is the drain bolt. And we're gonna be cracking that second. You always wanna make sure you open the fill bolt before the drain bolt, because if you drain all the fluid and you find out you can't get any new fluid in, it's gonna be a bad time. So I'm gonna get started on that. Yeah, I'm gonna try a breaker bar. These bolts I don't think have ever been opened before. <laughs> so breaker bar on there. Was it that easy? I don't know, actually. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. That's all. Nice. Yeah, switch out to my 19 millimeter socket. Yeah, it's literally off. All right, well, before you pull it off, let's get the... Well, that's the thing, it's not gonna drain from here. Um, this is just the fill bolt. And you can actually gauge how much um, differential oil in. Just sticking your finger in it. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Um, interesting. Mm. Maybe that's all that wet spot on the bottom of that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is definitely in need of it. Usually five millimeters under the bottom side of the bolt is where the fluid level is. Mm -hmm. And I'm reaching in there like an inch and there's nothing. I uh, can't imagine my ether. Yeah. Oh. And there's metal shavings too, so that's not great. But you ought not. I felt one, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. All right, let's uh, get the drain bolt cracked. So this is a 10 millimeter hex. Actually, off. Let me just make sure. There we go. Cool. <laughs> is it loose enough that you could just use the, the top of it? That's what I'm hoping. I think it is now. There we go. All right, let's see how much fluid this bad boy has. Oh, oh my so, God. it's still had a lot. But it is black bro yeah it looks dark yeah. that's oil <laughs> okay didn't have a lot yeah i think there was about like maybe half in there of what it should have but... at least it had something at least it had something <laughs> could have been worse not stripped or anything? No, no, the bolt is good. There are metal shavings um, inside the, of it. Uh, so it's magnetic. So, um, not a great, but I mean, for over 260,000 miles, it's kind of expected, so. Especially having never changed the differential fluid. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple pieces in there. All right, it, so we got the uh, 
both wa uh, washers out and they look a little different than the replacement ones I got. I matched up the part numbers and everything, but I, essentially the idea of a crush washer is as it tightens up against it, it'll crush and flatten out and that's going to create the seal. Um, so definitely much different than this, but we're going to go ahead and put them in and hopefully they do the job well. This was the correct part number, so these were either maybe installed once, because but I'm gonna put them back in. Factory OEM stuff. So yeah. It's always gonna be different, different from thirty years ago. So, I'm not torquing these down because um, the torque specifications are based on factory conditions, not after 30 years. So, um, basically, we're gonna go tight and then a little tighter and call it a day. And that's good. We're gonna be using 75W90. Um, some people say use 80W90. Um, GL5 versus GL4, you can look it up, but basically I came down to the conclusion that 75W90, GL5 for both differentials, and MT90, which is still 75W90 for the manual transmission and transfer case, um, and that one is GL4. So this is what we're going to be using. We're going to use a little squeeze pump. Okay, so this pump is pretty trash. I mean, you can find ones that are better that work, but this one is just not working. So we're going to be using a big old syringe, pretty much. Maybe hopefully... There we go. I was just bringing in too much air because I didn't, I didn't have that tight. There you go. Oh, I'm hot better. Fill that bitch up. Look, no swearing. Cut that out. That is definitely... I love how it looks pink in here. Yeah, I got it. I mean, remember what the color of yours was? Yeah. Blaze. It's good, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna cap that. What was it there? There's a 19. I have it. should be tight. Alright. Cool. We're differential done. 